Welcome back to the Library Trust YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful and catchy flare dress or skirt. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. Thank you. Welcome back to the Library Trust YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make an catchy flare skirt. Okay. The flare skirt that has like an anchor effect and it's very simple and beautiful to make. So to make this, I'll be working with this velvet fabric. And let me quickly give us a tip on how to know an original velvet. You can see the selvage of this velvet. It's just standing straight like that. It's not rolling. Okay. So if you want to buy a velvet and you want to buy the original one, just look out for the ones that has like border lines on the selvage like this. And it will just stand on its own it's not going to be rolling so i'm using this half white velvet and i'll be matching it with this black polish just a tip of it on the on the m line so just so that it can give me some kind of nice effect so now let's start to do this i need to fold my fabric into four like we normally do when we want to cut our 360 degree flare so I'll put it on fold by two and then I'm going to fold it into four. Okay, so I'll put my fabric on fold by four inches. The radius I'm working with is 28 inches and by now I'm sure we know how to calculate. The circumference I'm working with, that's where I'm placing my skirt, is 28 inches. You can actually place this anywhere you want. I'll be placing this on the waist. You can make it as a full dress or on your knee you can place it on your knee area anywhere you want it so the waist i'm placing this on is 28 inches and i'll be dividing 28 inches by 6.28 to get my radius okay so 28 inches divided by 6.28 is going to give me around four and a half inches and then i'm going to measure that so after measuring my four and a half inches round i determine i how the length of the skirt that i want to work with okay so an anchor skirt is the one that just used to have like high low high low high low kind of effect so now i need to determine the lowest length that i want to work with for me i want the lowest to be like around 15 inches so after getting the 15 inches i'm just going to add like five inches to the highest to make my anchor chief skirt you understand it by the time i'm i'm doing my markings so now i've marked out my radius now like i said i want the lowest to be 15 inches in length that's the lowest part of, of the skirt but remember that i said i'll be matching it with i'll be mixing it with this black polish material so this black polish material i'll be cutting two inches i'll be adding two two inches each round on the hemline so the two inches that i'm or even three inches so the three inches that i'm adding to it i remove it from the total of my 15 inches and that's going to leave me with 12 inches so now i'm going to mark my 12 inches round but i'll add one inch extra to make it 13 inches for my seam allowance so now i'm adding 13 inches round this I'm not adding any band. Remember, this is just a tutorial. It's going to be like a bandless skirt. But if you are adding a band to it, you may want to factor that into your measurement also. I mean, on the upper part here. If you're adding like a two inches band, remember that will also contribute to the length that you will have at the end of the day. So you may want to put that in mind before taking your measurement. Okay. So now my radius is done, which is four and a half, and then my length is done okay which is 13 for the shortest part of the skirt okay so now we've done the measurement for the shortest part of the skirt i remember i said that, that handkerchief skirts used to have like a high low effect we will see it by the time we are done so now to determine the longest part of the skirt you just need to know how long you want it to be you can start from like five inches six seven eight nine or ten so if you want it to be like 10 inches longer than the short one you just had 10 inches to this actual measurements of short length that you have if you want it to be five inches longer you're going to add five inches to it if you want seven inches you had seven inches to it as the case may be so now 
what you need to target let me bring it here what you need to target is this right angle that we have here so now i'll be placing my tape measure like this from this right angle and then i'll make sure that i do it diagonally like this let me raise this up so i'm missing this angle that i and place my uh, tape diagonally like this i hope you can see it's well now so now remember this is the length of my shortest part which is around 17 inches now so i'm deciding to add six inches to my actual length so that the longest part is going to be six inches longer than the shortest part so now i'm going to count six one two three four five six and it's on 23 so i'm just going to mark it like this you can see how i did it diagonally okay so as i was saying you just need to place your tape in a diagonal from following this angle 90 and you're targeting this angle at the hemline also so i'll be placing my tape measure diagonally like this and from my shortest point i'll had six inches which gave me 23 inches which i've marked here so now after marking it the next thing to do now is to connect it to the two angles of the short point so the first one i'm just going to place my ruler from the 23 inches and then i'll connect it to this angle of the shortest one here straight like this okay so after doing it for the first one i'll go over to the next one also here and then i'll take my ruler and then from the 23 inches here i'll connect it to this one also you can see it's very very simple to make and that is all you need to do so once we do this now we can now cut out our flare but now when you're cutting it out remember you're not following this your first curved line again you're following this like the right angle that you that you've just created this this new line that you created is what you'll be following to cut it so what i mean is you just cut it following this new line not this curve so you cut it like this and then you ignore the first line the first curved line that you make and you have cut your anchor chief flare. it is that simple so now after that i'm going to remove my radius also and then i'll try to notch it so that i'll know the short point so i'm not chin it like this and like this because i want the short part to be in my front so you can see what it is looking like and once you place it up i'll put it on the mannequin we will see it's better the effect that this is going to be giving us so like i said i want to add black fabric to the tip rand and i've cut out long strips of fabric so now i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine now and then place it on it and then sew it to tape it on the hemline round and then i'm going to bring it back to show us okay i'll sew it around on the hemline on both on the four corner remember we have one four corner one is here one is here and one is on each side of the skirt also okay so i've gone ahead to tape the hemline with my black polish fabric as you can see and then remember that i notched the center here so this is going to be my center front and my center back okay so this is what it's looking like now then i'll take it to the mannequin to show us what it looks like it's the skirt on the mannequin and as you can see you can see the front part is looking shorter see the length of the front and you can see how long it is on the side it's very beautiful and simple to make and you can actually make your high low more pronounced than this remember i use six inches difference from my own eye to my short if you want it longer for it to be really feasible you can use like 10 inches or 15 inches and the mix of colors just makes it pops out a bit so you can see the effect that this is giving us so i'm going to show us another one now where i use 10 inches difference and you can see how pronounced the difference is okay so for this other one the difference is 10 is 10 inches and you can see the low part of it is just on the knee it's just reaching the knee you can see it 
you can see there is a bit shorter is on the knee this is the knee and the longest part here is almost reaching the floor length okay so it depends on you and how you wish to mix your fabric but in all you just need to know get the met the concept of making it then you can decide on high high or low you want it to be and like i said in the video you can place it anywhere you want remember this is just like a skirt but in this case it was used to make a full a full gown so you can see it was attached from the upper bust area here you can attach it from your half length from your to your knee area or anywhere you want it to be so kindly subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload a new video see you in the next one bye